Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We're going to talk about Ripple, XRP, and Brad Garlinghouse. But um, before we actually do that uh, with Brad Garlinghouse, Ripple, and XRP, I'd like to remind you that if you want to join me on my stream, um, it is going to be, the link is actually going to be in the description and also pinned in the first comment. Uh, it is on a backup channel called Good Free Photos. Also, uh, my Crypto Daily Update channel is a new cryptocurrency channel, which will have um, one daily update video per day encompassing all the great cryptocurrency news for that day. So that is called the Crypto Daily Update channel. That'll be in the all those will be in the description as well as pinned on the first comment. So join me. So there is a new uh, there is a new development in the lawsuit in the Ripple uh, in the Ripple lawsuit, and this one actually targets Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO, and this actually claims that he actually led people to believe that he was going to hold XRP back in 2017, 2018, while he actually dumped XRP on the people. Now, there is truth and lie to this as well. First of all, Brad Garling has a lot of XRP. He has like $3 billion or something like that. And he did actually sell about 60 or 70 million XRP uh, during that time, 2017, 2018. So the lawsuit is not without a point. He did actually sell a lot of XRP, but 60 or 70 million out of 3 billion is not a huge amount. So he could just say, you know, I was just selling out because I thought it was a good price. Um, but it states that the head of Ripple reportedly told the public that he intended to hold a token when in fact he was actively selling it. So Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse has been a vocal advocate for investing in XRP in a December 14, 2017 interview with BNN. When asked if he is personally invested in XRP, the CEO stated, I am long XRP. I'm very, very long XRP as a percentage of my personal balance sheet. So they took that as an interpretation of like, He's very bullish on XRP and he's going to hold his XRP. Rather, he, Garlinghouse, was dumping XRP on retail investors in exchange for dollars and other cryptocurrency. This is actually getting very personal now. It's not only with Ripple, but it's also with Brad Garlinghouse. Defendants had exclusive or superior knowledge of material information regarding Garlinghouse's XRP sales, but omitted it from their rep representation to investors. Accordingly, Garlinghouse's statement was a misrepresentation and omission of material fact to investors. There's some point to that, but like I said, he dumped like 2% of his XRP. So he could say like, I didn't really sell that much of it. I mean, I just sold some of it to kind of like de-risk my portfolio. And that was the part that I could actually sell. So Garlinghouse actually has a point too. So this is not like all one-sided or the other. The plaintiff's primary argument is in this case has been that Ripple Labs advertises the XRP token as a utilitarian tool to further great, uh, greater business interests. They assert that the company instead uses the sale of XRP as its primary source of revenue. I'm not really sure if that's true or not because they actually do license a lot of software to banks. So I'm not really sure if that part's true. Having no real interest in using the token for any other purpose, that's probably not true because o people are actually using ODL. Although they have paid those people in XRP to use ODL. They have presented as evidence the fact that XRP is not needed for Ripple's key services. That's true for XCurrent, not true for ODL. Such as XVIA and XRapid, now Ripple. Met. No, that's actually not true. This article has that wrong. It's XCurrent and XVIA. XRapid, which is now ODL, does actually require XRP. Ripple Labs denies this claim and insists that it has always been transparent about its use of XRP. In, a Febu in February, a federal judge dismissed some of the plaintiff's complaints, yet followed the lawsuit to proceed, allowed the lawsuit to proceed. The current amended complaint is in response to this holding. So right now, it's actually questioning not just Ripple, but Brad Garlinghouse. Now, he did sell a bunch of his XRP, as did David Schwartz in 2017, 2018, but that's a small percentage of Garlinghouse's XRP. It was probably a much larger percentage of Schwartz's XRP because Schwartz's compensation is mainly not XRP. It's actually salary and Ripple stock. So Schwartz doesn't have nearly as much XRP as Garlinghouse. Garlinghouse has a couple billion XRP, selling 60 or 70 million during an upswing. It should be like a normal, uh, like a, a normal trader's actions, but Garlinghouse does, as they say, have superior knowledge of what's going on in the company and what's going to go, what's going to happen with XRP. So this is going to get a little more interesting. Um, and they have actually upped the ante by actually specifically accusing the CEO. So I don't really know how this is going to turn out. I still think eventually they'll either settle or well, actually Ripple doesn't really want to sell. They might actually, it might actually turn out in Ripple's favor most likely. But overall, this has definitely gotten a lot more interesting. You need to stay tuned to the news because even though I don't think they're going to win their lawsuit in the end, they do have some merit in their arguments. And there, there's going to be a lot of fighting in this, especially because we know that the CEO and the CTO did actually liquidate uh, their XRP close to when XRP was at its all-time high. So that is the news for now. Let me know what you...
Uh, let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and subscribe to my other channels as well. Thank you and have a nice day.